What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Lawn Surgeon and I know you came here to find out who I'm going to be voting for in this 2020 election just the same as everybody else but first you already know what time it is <coughs> tip to talk All right, people, let's get right down to it because I know y'all want to find out who I'm voting for in this 2020 election. And I'm going to do the same thing uh, I gave a lot of people advice to do. I ain't going to tell y'all jack. <laughs> and like I said, that's the same thing I tell people. I do not understand why people tell everybody who they vote for why people put signs in their yard call it supporting their candidate why people just do all these things for somebody they don't even know now I'm not telling y'all not to vote I am definitely not telling y'all to vote I'm telling y'all to vote 100% vote but why are you telling people who you voting for bro the only thing telling people who you vote for it just ruins relationships in your life. And I'm going to explain to you why. Y'all know I have a roundabout way of doing things. For those of you who are new, sit back, take a sip of an adult beverage, and let's get to it. Oh uh, no. Alright. Let me give y'all this example, right? Say you have this neighbor, right? You move into a house. You had this good neighbor over five or six years. Y'all became good friends. He comes over your house. You go over his house. Y'all have beers or whatever. Y'all chill out at the end of a long day. And one day, this election has come along. You got your candidate that you want to support. And you go take a sign and you stick it in your front yard. And then you start noticing that, uh, you know, that friend that you have for five or six years stopped coming over and, you know, he doesn't text as much or at all, you know, and you can't figure out what it is. Is it this sign that I put it in my front yard that made him stop coming over? Yes, that's what it is. <laughs> you have to realize, bro, like, see, I'm the type of person that. I'm not judgy, you know, like I can have a friend that has totally different beliefs as me and I can still be friends with him, you know what I mean, or or whatever, you know. I mean, I, you know, I, I can't be friends with nobody that kills dogs and babies or nothing, you know what I mean, but like, you know, different beliefs. <laughs> but, uh. Not everybody's like that, bro. And just because they're not like that, just because they might not can be friends with somebody, like, that, like you know, there's different beliefs from them, they're judgy, doesn't mean that they're bad people. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It just means that they're judgy. And w w the point I'm trying to make is, You sticking that sign in your front yard or you posting all over social media about who you're going to vote for, who you're supporting. It's not really helping that candidate. You know, you know what I'm saying? Think about this. <clears throat> you stick that sign in your front yard uh, for Tom Smith or whatever, whatever the candidate is. And somebody's driving down the street and they see that sign in your front yard and they're like, Oh, Tom Smith. Well, you know what? I was going to vote for the other guy, but since they took the time and effort to stick that sign in their front yard, I think I'm going to vote for Tom Smith. No! They're going to be like, man, I'm never going over that person's house for cookouts. <laughs> 
That's exactly what they're going to say. People on Facebook always be like, hey, if you don't like the post I, I be posting, then you can unfriend me or whatever. Why, bro? That means you don't, you don't want friends. You just want yes men. You just want people... That's a boring life to have a whole bunch of people around you that like the same thing that you do. You should want variety. And by telling people and trying to push people away that don't have like beliefs as, as you, it's kind of weird, bro. It's kind of weird. And it's kind of the same thing. <sighs> you supporting these candidates, sticking that sign in your yard, bro. I, I, I guess I'm using the wrong words. I'm not saying you shouldn't support. You should support your candidate. But letting your candidate be known of who you're supporting, that candidate doesn't know you. We'll never know you. And the closest you might get to me, you might meet him and say, how you doing, sir? Shake his hand. And he's not going to remember that. You know how many hands he's shook and babies he's kissed? He's not going to remember you. And all you did was ruin relationships. It could be cousins, aunts, best friends. They find out, oh, oh, oh you voting for that guy? <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, am I making sense? I mean, am I, am I crazy? Like, like, tell me, what benefit does it have for letting who you're voting for being known? You know, wh wh whoever it is. I just laugh every time I drive and I see somebody with some signs in their yard. You know, some people be like, uh, uh, well, I don't, I'm, I'm anti-social anyway. I don't want friends anyway. Okay, well, if that's you, fine. Stick signs in your yard, right? But if you stick signs in your yard and then people stop showing up at your house for cookouts and get together, that might be why. You know what I mean? Because not everybody's the same, bro. Not everybody's the same. So, I just wanted to get that off my mind. My week has still been busy. Today I worked 14 hours. A combination of my uh, part-time job and cutting grass. But the good thing is, you know, I've been getting a lot of good results in um, seeding and aerations, like, like full-on results. Like this weather has been ideal. For those who don't know, I'm in a cool weather area, and a lot of people use fescue, so that's what I've been using. And uh, in this last few weeks, it's been between 58 and like low 70s, like. 77 which is ideal germination temperature for fescue cool weather grass and with that being said i've been putting down seed in people's yards and they've been calling me I'm like hey seth my yard's looking fantastic and i'm like i know <laughs> but in my mind i'm like oh snap you know that's crazy i was telling my wife that it's like You know, kind of when I started my business and still to this day, I'm always nervous about a job I do. Like, I think my nervousness makes me be more meticulous. Like, I'm so nervous that I'm going to do a bad job that I, like, kind of overextend myself and go over everything with a fine-tooth comb. And I hope that it's going to turn out well. I hope. Even after all these years of me doing lawn care. I hope. But now I've noticed in recent years that like. I'm still hoping it's going to turn out well. But not only does it turn out well. It turns out excellent. You know. And it's just like. You know. Maybe I'm kind of good. <laughs> but I don't want to get complacent. 
you know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I don't want to get complacent, man. But uh, yeah, it, it's been crazy. It's been kind of like I got so much to do, so much on my plate. I kind of just go out here and do as much as I can. I said, all right, well, I got these two yards. I had to get to. I couldn't get to yesterday. I'm gonna knock these out. And then I'm gonna try to get here, 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 here. Then on Sunday, I might go out and knock out these three. And you know, I'm just trying to do everything as, as soon as possible. Right? And it, I've been blessed that all my customers like understand. They're like, okay, you know, we understand. Yeah. Hmm. But uh. Yeah. Y'all not finding out who I'm gonna go vote for. <laughs> I actually already voted. <laughs> they got those early voting um, setups. Pretty nice. Anywho, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to my other channel, Seth's uh, Clips and Tips. Uh, I probably got like five subscribers right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't be posting like I'm gonna be posting accumulation of new tips but a whole lot of old tips y'all don't realize I got almost like 800 videos bro like 700 some videos so I got a lot of tips <laughs> so I'm gonna be going back and breaking down my videos you know cause I might have a long video that's 10 minutes long and within that video I might have 3 tips so boom 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 you know how to how to do this and how to, how to put this together how to change this and whatnot so if y'all looking for that quick tip videos check that out i'll see if i can put a link at the end of this video anywho thanks for watching comment subscribe and i uh, stay tuned yes sir.